Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to, um, round, I forget what number. One, two, four or five, something like that. Round four or five of the Anti-Chess World Championships, um, why can't I remember? Um, <laughs> let me take a quick look. Um... Uh, round five of the Anti-Chess World Championships. Today I am playing a lush ter uh, bing. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name here. Columbia. Um, yeah. So, very strong player. Um, obviously after today, or yesterday and two days before that was, um, was very high rated. And still is, like 21... 22 after two days of going down a combination of 94 points so that's that's 2200 plus for sure um, should have some interesting games today I've never really played a lush terrabine that much I am 0-2 I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly I'm 0-2 against a lush so um, should be some interesting games for sure um, so yeah, I'm excited for this, I'm just waiting, uh, unless I said, might have been a little bit late. <clears throat> um, I don't really know how this is going to go, I feel, I feel fairly confident, uh, but obviously we just came off of the loss versus Tugger, but Tugger's a very strong player, um, wasn't expecting, like, I was expecting to get wall up there, I haven't, I haven't exactly been on my A game, and Tugger will obviously take advantage of someone who's not on their A game very, very easily, so, um, yeah, so just waiting currently, hopefully, hopefully is online soon, still have my study, um, I don't know if I should be showing this, I'll just, I'll just keep it private, but, um, I didn't have a ton of time to study uh, for this match. Uh, one moment. <laughs> I didn't have a, uh, a ton of time to uh, study for this match, but I got in enough where I feel like I have an okay understanding of what I'm going to be playing. So I may, I may, I've definitely um made silly mistakes in the past. Like, I remember there was this one match last year, I actually didn't end up covering it yet, which I definitely have to do, but I did an analysis of most of my games until I got to the Candidates tournament, and in the Anti-Chess Candidates tournament I was playing Autumn Wind, and I messed up on move like two or three, and I gave away mate on like move three, which was just so silly. It was because, um, I actually remember the game so well, <laughs> because I was like, how did I screw that up? I ended up drawing him. It was a very close match. But uh, he was going into uh, the Liard at defense, uh, and I normally play bishop a6 here, but I was going to go for the wing wing attack, which is like considered to be slightly stronger uh, over long time controls. It's very, very strong. Um, but uh, instead I played this first, and then I played a4, which is just completely losing, as you can see from the uh, evaluation. Uh, and here we go. So... Ogle's already in the chat, we got a few, good luck, have fun, uh, and we're starting off with E3. Okay, um, what was my prep? Don't even remember. Wow, that was fast. Uh, Bishop B5. Okay, and we're gonna take, take, and Queen F3. This, I always like this move. Okay. And then we're gonna push this pawn, attack the knight. <laughs> Queen there. I think I play this move, maybe. I like this because you can't recapture the rook. My knight has this square. Oh wow. Am I just losing? <laughs> That'd be fast if I was. There could be a nice intermediate there. Oh wow. Um Well this could be over fast. 
Um, <laughs> take, 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 take. Wow. That could be over very quick. Um, taking there, what does that result in? Then you just play your knight somewhere? Or can you? Oh no, you just wait and then play that. Okay, so I have to do this. <laughs> Might just get walloped first game. Oh, interesting. Wow. I have been crushed. All right. Well, that was a that was an ugly first game. Oh wait, that actually loses. I'm pretty sure. Wait, so is this safe now? Oh my goodness. Not a chance. Wait, I can take here. Wait. Oh my god. What is going on? Take takes takes um... recapture there takes actually what am I doing here 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 or do I just take with the rook here that looks safer I can't calculate the arrest yet take 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 here take Um, nothing else works. Okay, so I guess I have to take with the rook down here. This might actually be winning for me, which would be crazy. Does this move lose? Um... I gotta be very careful here. There, here, that wins. Back here, and. Okay, so I think I'm gonna play this move. I'm gonna recapture back. Such a weird game. There, take. There, take. Here. Or I could even go here, take. There. Oh, wait, that doesn't work, does it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure this just wins. But I could be wrong. Although I think this looks good. Here. Here. And then push this pawn. Bishop, take, there, take. Wow, I got lucky. <laughs> I was dead lost off the beginning. And my opponent just luckily blundered. So 1-0. Wow. <laughs> And we're starting with a3. So I'm gonna play c5 here. Take. Queen takes, probably. Ooh, interesting. Um, maybe this? Because then I can get into a queen versus rook race. There's probably a better way to win, though. There's definitely a better way to win. I just can't see it. I'll just play this anyways. Looks fine. I 
I feel comfortable on a rook versus. Can I take back right away? Is that a possibility? If I go here, then takes here. Wait, is this the right music? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, wrong tab. Um, takes there. Then I take here. Okay, you know what? I think this is fine. The thing I have to be concerned about is that move, in which I take here. Then here. I, th I should be fine. This should be okay. Prepare that, yeah. Maybe this. No, okay, that loses, probably. <laughs> um, okay, so take. And then give away the bishop. Or do I have to? There. There. Take. take. No, okay, I don't want to do that. I'll just give it away. This looks good for me. I'll just develop my pieces until they get to the right spots. here kind of like this move better let's go with this just controls more squares from here, doesn't allow that. Also threatens this eventually. So here, take, there. I think this is just winning. vibing to this song lately. Alright, 2-0. I'm going for e3 again. I gotta figure out how to beat this defense. Queen f3. e4. Okay, maybe this is the move. No, no, because this move it allows for something weird like this. Um, maybe I'll just protect this. I'll protect, I'll take with the f-pawn this time. Still allows this. Something like this could be incoming. Because if that doesn't come, then I can play here, give the bishop knight e2, and then I got threats. Got wild threats. Okay. So that doesn't come. Take there, here, here, mm -hmm. wait, here, take, there, king takes, no, but knight could take then, no, knight could not take, no knight could take. Okay. I think we just go for this. Oh, I see the threat now. Okay. So I do have to push this pawn, because otherwise, king here, and then something. 
Uh, is that a threat? Okay, so I'm going to protect against that threat with this move. Oh, but then king here. <clears throat> ah, there's a lot of interesting weird things in this position. Is this okay? That might be the best move. I'm gonna try this. Wait though, I, I, I kinda wanna just... There... Take... Take... There... Take... No, okay, that definitely doesn't work. Okay. Maybe that works. Hopefully. Definitely knows this... He definitely knows this line very well. Can tell. Make sure I'm recording. <laughs> I got scared for a second. There, take, here, take. I didn't see anything of like crazy. Like, I didn't see anything insane. The one thing I could see is here, take, here, take... There... But then I just have... Then I just recapture the knight. I was thinking if I recapture the king, then... Here... Take... Take... Then I have to take with rook... Something like bishop recaptures here... And then I... But then I attack these two things... But then something weird, like a rook moving out, like here. Take, take, take. Is that bad? But then again, I just capture... Oh, but I can't capture with knight, can I? That could be a bad line for me, now that I look at it all the way through. Take, take. Here, take, take. Okay. Knight takes here, here. Okay, so knight can't take. I have to take with the king. I'll give him a take back. Uh, I'll, gi I'll give it. I think it's fair. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Okay, there we go. I thought I'd give it to him because I know he just... Yeah, it was a mess up. Okay, so he takes there. Okay, so this line... There? There. Hold up. Okay, so I'm definitely playing this move. I can already see that in my future. Here. Here. There, take. Here, take. Here, take. Okay, so I'm playing this move. Followed by this one. There, take. There, take. Here, take. There, take. There, take. Um, I think I go for that. Oh, hold up. I have this move now, right? Yeah. Knight captures, I have this. And if pawn captures, it just opened up for the rook. Okay, so 3 0. Got knight opening this time. Uh, dragon attack? Is that what it's called? I think. Ooh. That's a fun move. Oh. Just resigned. Wait, is that lost? Oh, I definitely have to check that after. 
Boro, okay. I gotta check that after, I didn't see it. Okay, so this is the Marmalizer defense. I actually love this. I love this defense. It's really fun. Ooh, I don't I don't remember ever seeing Elush playing this move. So obviously I'm taking there. And then I is this the right move? Move the pawn. We are heroes tonight. Okay, here. Just moves that. Take, take. It's not that big of a deal. Here. It could be. Let's do that. Just threatens this and this. There's definitely some good move here. There, take, 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 take. Okay. Or here, take, 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 take. Take. That's got to be a good move, right? Here, Rook has to capture, and then it's... that's it, I think. Rook captures, king captures, here take, here take, there take, um, okay, he just resigned, so 5-0, I just gotta get one draw, close out the final half game, I will play the Liard defense, Liard de, Liard de, oh, king e2, the bong cloud, so fun. I don't even know what to play against this now. I'll play G5. Bong Cloud. What a fun opening. Uh, C5? Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of my bishop, because it's safe to do so. Okay, so now I have this move. Okay, opens up for the queen there. Could be interesting. Oh, I see. It's threatening that. Okay. So I have to play that first. That's not a good move. What could be a good move, though? Could just play something like this. Could play something like this. I gotta see if taking recapturing here is safe. I think it is. And in that case, I'll just play something slow. There might be a mate. Okay, never mind. I, I'm safe for now. Well, I'll show you what I was thinking after the match. Okay, so develop time. Ah, there we go. Now I can develop. Maybe that's coming. Oh, just pushing right ahead. Um, 
I gotta be careful. Wow. Okay, so this is, should be okay. Oh, where's a good intermediate when you need one? There. Ah. So close to so many good ones. Um, I was thinking here, take, take, but then doesn't really, I, that could work. Honestly, it looks kind of nice. Oh wait, does it though? There, take, but then the king can't go anywhere because, because the bishop's pinned. Let's go for it. Okay, so my opponent's playing very speedy now. I think this wins, though. Because it threatens both this and this. This square's double defended. This square's defended by the rook. Oh, right, that's not exactly that big of a threat yet. Um, yeah, that doesn't win yet. <laughs> okay, so, push spawn time. I'll just keep pushing the pawn. Works with me. I'll move back. My opponent's playing very fast and very precise this game. Wow. This is so impressive. I have no idea what to do. So fast. And I think that's game over. Well, those are those are good games. I'm interested to go into analysis. Good luck in your tournament. Okay, so Um, first game. This is when I was completely dead. So, I'll look at it from my perspective. e4, and then c4 was the only move. Queen c7. g3 was the correct move. But, <laughs> h takes lost and f takes one. We'll explore the f takes line in the next, but... Looks like Alash was winning, winning... Rook takes, takes. So b5 is the only move here. And now there's only four winning moves. 
Rook A3 wins, it's just one of those strange things that... Well, because the Rook here, Rook C3, a Rook comes back and takes it. That's crazy. So yeah, Rook C3, and both this and this one. So in the game I played Rook takes C3, F4 was winning. F4... I didn't see how that worked. F4 takes, D takes... Oh, wait, yeah, I see that now. Um, and then... Hold up. F4... Take... And then Rook G3, and then push. Okay, so that happened. Um... I wanted to explore why this works, so rook takes c2 back, and then I didn't know what to do after this, and it's knight a3. That's so, so tricky, so, so tricky, because, um, it, there's just, like, each capture takes a piece out of the way. So here, get this piece out of the way, and now the rook has to move somewhere. Uh, this capture brings the bishop out of the way, so now this bishop has to capture. Um, And then, obviously, the squared is double controlled, so that was game one. That helped a lot winning that game. Uh, this game... B5, sorry, C5 takes queen there. I was expecting queen takes A7. Uh, I'll respond to you after. Agburanar. Sorry for butchering your name if you're watching this. I was expecting this. I was expecting to go down this line. Which is objectively better for black, but it's like... It's not like... Like, you go into a slightly better endgame. But here, Queen A5 was the move I was looking for. Problem I saw with it was here... King takes, Rook takes... And see, I just did not see that this was completely winning. But I can see it now. For example, you can't play bishop here right now. But if you don't and you just do something slow, like you do something like this, then you have knight b5 followed by this move. And if you try pushing the pawn to make it better for yourself, you just take, move this, and then you have this move. Which I just did not see in, in hindsight. Anyways, I went down this line, which I think was slightly better for me. Uh, queen takes f1, so going further into the race is better, but this is still completely fine. Queen takes f2, bishop d3 was good. And here, knight e7, that makes sense, knight d5. Ah, uh, knight c8 was, okay. So both of these moves win. I was deciding which one of these I wanted to play. Uh, this one just seemed a little more passive. This one seemed a little more aggressive. They're essentially the same, but one, one move shorter to mate. Uh, this one I just like more because it's like, it's more aggressive, you can't play something like this now. Um, I'm controlling all of these files, all with my knight, uh, which is, which is just nice to have. Um, so all these moves are just slow, that's how they win. Um, any rook move, I have this followed by rook move and king g8, uh, which is what we saw in the game. So that was game two, game three... We saw this line again, and this time I played it correctly. We saw king here, so b... Okay, so d4 was incorrect. b4, take e5. What was I worried about here? I was worried about knight captures. g4, take... And, of course, I missed this intermediate. This lovely intermediate. Fire bat prime is going to be so disappointed. Uh, so that was completely winning for me. This should have still been fine. But king f1 I needed to play. That move... King f2 needs to be played now, and I don't want to play king f2. So king f1 has to be played, which I think it's just one of those strange, strange things. Um, okay, and it looks like... It looks like knight c... Knight c6 doesn't work in that line. That's also what I was afraid of. Oh, it's because, um... Yeah, okay. Um... Anyways, um, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, yes, this is mate for black now. I made a big mistake. 
Yeah, so I... Oh, okay, I got the line wrong. I thought this was winning, but obviously it's not. It's just drawing. I want to see what this line is. So I take... Oh, it's because I was calculating that wrong. Ah, uh, because now we go into a rook race. Take, take, take. Uh, takes e2 is better. Takes h7. Takes b2. Take here. Then we play here. Rook a takes a2. That's important. And I fail to see still how this is drawing. I'm just going to go down the line just to see. B4, H5, B3, H6. So you can play H6 here because uh, after after B2, Rook takes is just winning for white because the knight has to move from here. You give away your Rook and then you just promote to something else that wins. Knight C6. That's what draws. I might have to make a video on this. This is crazy. Now there's only these three moves that win for black. <laughs> They're so strange. This move, this move, and that move? So say I played... Say I played this. Knight takes h7. Knight c6, I can't promote to rook. I promote to king. b2. King h7 and rook promotion, and now this is a complex mating pattern that I definitely have to study. Going back though, so first of all, you have to see knight c6. Then you have to see one of these random moves. Wow. So I see this move now. Now you play b2. And then you give away the rook. This move once again loses. So wait, takes here, h7, rook. Oh wait, you, can you pro, rook promotion and bishop wins? Because then you have to give up the rook, and then your knight's stuck by itself. So you can't promote a rook. You have to play one of these random moves again. Then you promote to bishop. <laughs> and then you have to give up the knight and then bishop promotion. Wow. Dude, that's a crazy line that I missed. That's why... That's why looking from... Hold up. That's why looking here, bishop c5. That's why this move right here is completely drawn. That is insane. Um... But anyways, so the correct line was bishop d6 take, uh, bishop takes here, oh, wasn't it, oh wait, it's mating for black, yeah, bishop takes, there we go, and these bishops are just so scary, so threatening, um, but we did not see that in the game, instead, we saw here, take, bishop takes, knight takes, knight takes, and b4, rookie one, these are the two moves. Rookie one takes knight d2, knight there, rook back, and that's game. That was game three. Moving into game four, white resigned very early. So basically the line that I think he wanted to play was here. Which I still don't quite see why he resigned after this, but what would I have played? Something like this and then queen e7? Or a5? Or... Queen takes, rook takes, king takes, king takes. This still looks fine for white. I don't know why he resigned. Maybe he was just frustrated. A5 is another possibility. Here, here. Queen c7 is pretty thematic in this line. This looks fine to me. So I don't quite know why he resigned, but... Maybe just missed the fact that this could have... Like, just thought that this was mating. But anyways, so game five. Another short game. In the Marmalizer defense. So I was expecting f5. But here, take, take. Queen g4 is the move. The reason I didn't play queen g4 is because I thought this move. 
and then yeah, and then I just didn't see anything. Oh, Queen G6 takes. E4 does look very strong. I was considering E4. Um, E4, and but then it's just it's too complicated. There's too many moves that are all pretty much losing for black, but nothing super clear. So I play Queen H5, and the game G6 take take. And this is pretty drawn. I want to see. Okay, so rook takes h1 did have to be played. I assumed that this was the line we were going to go into because the rook race, if we look into this, I would have played here, take, would have taken. Oh, then it's completely winning. Actually, yeah, sorry, no. I, w I definitely would have played. Eh, would I have? I might have played this. Rook takes e1, I would have taken here. Takes c1, rook takes b1. Yeah. Okay, so that line would have been bad for me. Um, and in this case, takes on e1. Probably would have played this. And the, yeah, again, it's better for black. Takes d7, takes d2. Wow, what a, yeah, another strange line. But anyways, in the game, uh, and then knight e2 was just crushing. There's nothing my opponent could do. Uh, going back, though, I want to see what was the better move. That, so if I took here and recaptured, then it's the same thing. Like, e4 just is very strong. e6 could have been played, but rook a6, b takes... Uh, what am I missing here? Knight h3, double defended square. If queen h4, then g4, take rook f1, capture, capture, and then this is just too much pressure. I could try something like this, but then, yeah. Then it's over. And then we went into game 6. Um... Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. Liar de defense, king e2, the bong cloud. So I didn't really, I've never studied the bong cloud because it's just sort of, seems a little silly. NH6 does look like just nice. Um, this definitely loses. Okay, it doesn't lose, but I thought king d3 is the best move. That's so silly. Bishop takes. And there wasn't even like a remotely like similar one. But mind you, it is the opening, so it could be like. There could be several better ones. <laughs> King d3. Bishop takes. Look at this. Mainline bong cloud theory. D3, rook takes, rook takes, B3, C takes. What is going on here? This is. How is this okay? Ugh. <laughs> Knight D2 doesn't win. I love that. Queen takes. But sorry, yeah, it doesn't win. What a weird line. King e2. Someone's definitely going to watch this video and play it against me in the future, so definitely have to brush up on it. This is this is way stronger for black, though. NF3. Oh my goodness. Only move. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> all the other ones look so bad. Um... King takes. Can't even play bishop takes because of bishop b7. Have to play king takes. <laughs> You're just so exposed, but it's like, it's kind of fine, but it's pretty much not. And this just loses. Wow, g4. 
Um, anyways, I went over a bunch of, uh, funny stuff. What was the cool line, though? That was, that was amazing. Uh, game three, was it? Yeah, game three. So let's, I'll just go over it once more, because I have some time. Uh, messed all this up. But, uh, this is winning. I thought this was good, but it's completely drawn. Let's just go through it again. Take, take, promote. And this loses due to the race that happens. So you have to take here, take, only move, only move, only winning move, sorry, only non-losing move, only non-losing move, only non-losing move, only move. So it's basically this line is forced too. Then you take here. Both of these moves are good, but I love this line. This line is just amazing. I'm sure they're probably similar lines. So it has to play beef. That that's what you would play b4. Then you play h5. Then you play b3, h6, knight c6, and then. <laughs> one of these moves b2 rook a5 takes push knight c6 bishop promotion game <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> such a funny line I might save that just because of that line I don't know if I'll ever see it like in, if I look back on it in two years I'll be like why did I think that but maybe maybe in two years I'll look through this line and I'll be like, hopefully I'm thinking, oh, bishop d6 obviously wins. But <laughs> if I look at bishop c5, I'll be like, oh, I remember why I saved this now. Just such a silly line. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video. It was uh, some good games uh, versus a Colombian master. Um, anyways, yeah, by the way, we're almost at 200 subscribers, 197, so... Uh, be sure to share with your friends, share with the anti-chess community. Um, uh, and other than that, thank you for watching, and I will uh, I will see you next week. See ya.